Hello everyone. Just wanted to make a quick video on uh, one of the projects that I had laying around my workshop for, oh, I don't know, probably two years now. Finally got back to it, just trying to clean up some pro projects that have been laying around for a long time. I know I haven't made a video in quite some time, but things have been busy. But I thought I'd show this quick. It features these uh, 3D printed controls, buttons for coin and players and just two button controls, so that limits you on some of the things you can emulate. Uh, one of the features I had in here was uh, some games. Yeah, I just have some uh, free use games here. Uh, let's see. I'll go with the Super Tank here. One of the things with a lot of arcade games is they were designed to go the long way. And, uh, well, the screen goes this way. But then there's a lot of like home games like uh, we would have grown up with 2600 and stuff. Well, I would have grown up with that go the long way and would be better situated. So I wanted to make it so I could rotate the screen. Uh, is there audio? Some of these games, the audio doesn't work. Oh, I hear it. Kind of a strange game. But anyway, so I wanted to make it so we could rotate the screen to better utilize the space. So I have a button here for rotating the screen. I'll just reboot and it'll come up in a different configuration for games that are formatted the long way. Take a second here. What we have going on is it's a Pi Zero with um, a latching relay that turns the monitor on and off and the IA2S interface. I'm not going to talk too much about setup. There's a ton of information out there on how to you know, set up a Pi Zero with RetroPie and use the GPIOs for controls. So now we'll go back to that same same one that was long. It's better formatted. Use the whole screen. Now, technically, in some some games, I think we'll do fine. Technically, it shouldn't be the whole height. So, we got the rotate function in there. Also, I have a shutdown button. Hit that. Flips the relay off, the, the latching relay to off, and the uh, down on the joystick boots it back up. Take a quick peek inside. It's a little better view of the layout I came up with. Uh, the idea was to be able to have two player games played. It's a little tight, and angling it turns out maybe not the best idea. Because even though you're maybe looking at the screen at an angle, you're still playing straight. But what's going to do? Uh, let's see. A quick peek at uh, just the bottom of these. On the joysticks, this one here can be rotated to be to for games like Qbert and Zaxxon that use a rotated joystick. The Player 2 one does. I didn't make holes to do that. The hookup's fairly basic. It's, uh, how this is assembled is detailed in an earlier video I made. One change that I did do is these are now printed with the PETG plastic, much springier. I made them slightly thicker. They don't clip in place tight anymore, but they won't pop out either because once they're screwed down, they hold with the spring. So I'll just put that fellow back in. A quick look at the buttons too. It's fairly straightforward. Once again, I did the, show the assembly in an earlier video. Not sure how long ago that was. This has been sitting on my uh, workspace a long time. Ah, oops, that was a little rough. Basically, it's just some wire soldered down to a couple switches, and it was. Oh, I, 
welded the two halves together with a uh, 3D pen. Put that back. Nothing too fancy. Close part with these screws here. For this, basically, we have the power that comes in to power the monitor. We have a latching relay that I use to power off the monitor and a I2S audio board over there. Here's the Raspberry Pi Zero. It's a custom hat I made that brings out S video for the screen. Um, do kind of regret the S video a little bit, but it works fine. Let's see, that's three volts powering the little latching relay. Little Wi-Fi dongle on it. It's the earlier Pi that didn't have a Wi-Fi, Pi Zero. So that's pretty much it. Oh, to this this button shuts it down. Just down on the joystick here. Should power it up. There we go. After a few moments you'll see that. Well, the relay's going to flip and you'll see the I2S board come on. There. Likewise, it also connects power to the screen. Thanks for watching.